well sports is taking center stage in india and to talk more about that during the world cup also in india i'm joined by none other than former indian cricketer yuvraj singh and laureus goodwill ambassador you were you here at a laureus event and the big news the big update is that while you've been a laureus ambassador for a while neeraj chopra the man with the golden arm is being inducted as well your thoughts on neeraj's performance and his impact on indian sport yeah i think um I've been the Laureus Ambassador, Goodwill Ambassador for the last six years. Very proud to be associated with them because I feel that sports uh, unites us. Mm -hmm. And for that reason, I've been united with Neeraj Chopra today mm -hmm. and to induct him in the Hall of Fame uh, Laureus Academy. It's very proud mm -hmm. a moment to meet him because what he has done, he's changed the sport of uh, Indian track and field athletics. and um just to get to know him mm. share the insights of a sportsman you know what struggles you go through and yeah. when you are success how life changes it was a good interaction but one thing we always say about neeraj is that itni success ke baad bhi wo <coughs> bilkul bhi badle nahi hai bilkul jaisi ladka hai i love that about him jab main aaya na bola you bhi paaji kaise hain kya haal hai so i love that about him that uh, apna pan mm. nahi gaya which is very important mm. because i feel you know once you have success sometimes it changes you mm. <laughs> but it's good to see that he is is a humble kid and hopefully and he is very passionate to you know bring more medals for the country mm -hmm. he's inspired the next generation to believe in track and field and athletics that if this guy can do it the next generation mm. will also feel that i can do it as well नीरज ने वर्चुअली सारे मेडल्स जीते हुए हैं उन्होंने ऑब्वियसली वर्ल्ड चैंपियनशिप का मेडल जीत लिया है ओलंपिक्स का जीता था एशियन गेम्स में वो जीत चुके हैं कॉमनवेल्थ गेम्स में वो जीत चुके हैं ओलंपिक्स की अगर बात करें तो आईओसी सेशन अभी मुंबई में होने वाला है और उसको लेके बहुत बज है और ये हमारे लिए एक बहुत अच्छा मौका होगा ये दिखाने के लिए कि हम भी आगे जाके ओलंपिक्स होस्ट कर सकते हैं आपको लगता है वाई नॉट आई थिंक वी हैव um we have all the means mm. and i'm sure uh the way our infrastructure is uh going we will we can definitely host olympics in the in, in the coming years why not and one question i really wanted to ask you was that as a cricketer how do you feel about cricket you know being one of those sports that could make a reentry into the olympics how would that be for you well that should have been done a couple of years ago i don't know why it's happened now but it's great if that can happen mm -hmm. and soon uh India will be a big contender to win Olympic gold in cricket. Yes, absolutely. Speaking of cricket, you we uh, the World Cup is going on. That must be bringing back a lot of memories for you. A World Cup in India. Uh, how do you? How have you? Uh, what do you make of the Indian performance so far in the two matches? I think pretty good. Hmm. I felt that the first game uh, we handled the pressure really well after losing few quick wickets. A bowler bowled really well. Hmm. I used the conditions. Uh, how how we know in our country and um then obviously our guys afghanistan were aggressive in our mm -hmm. batting rohit scored a brilliant hundred and took the game away so i think um we're getting used to um situations mm -hmm. i would say pressure situations mm -hmm. because end of the day you know when the semi final game comes mm -hmm. it's going to be big pressure yeah. so getting used to is going to be important Talking of pressure, there's an India-Pakistan also coming up. What do you make of that contest? Well, at the moment, the talk of the town, mm. uh, India-Pakistan game is always special. Whenever I talk to the guys, and uh, when I, um, I always tell them that you know, look forward to the game. It's a big occasion, and um, you don't know whether these times are going to come back. You know, you don't know when Pakistan is going to play in India. It's a big moment, and enjoy it. Mm. Any. other message apart from just the india pakistan match any other larger message to the indian team what does it take to win a world cup maybe well they all know what it means to win a world cup mm. and we all know what it takes to win a world cup mm. right it takes um it, it can take everything out of you mm. especially in your country mm. so i always you know what whoever i talk to just tell them just put your headphones on <laughs> you know focus on your game and this is a matter of 40 45 days one of the worries for india before that india pakistan match has also been you know the health of shubman gill uh, unlikely that he could feature in that match uh, you had a word with him anything you told him i did i told him ki main do baar dengue mein khela hu 
और वर्ल्ड कप में भी मेरी तबीयत ठीक नहीं थी तो जरा खड़ा हो जा और खेल बिकॉज इट्स अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट गेम एनी वेज ही वुड है प्लेड बिकॉज इफ ही इज फीलिंग बेटर बिकॉज बट टू बाउंस बैक फ्रॉम अ वायरल और अ डेंगू इट्स वेरी हार्ड बिकॉज इट सक्स एवरी थिंग फ्रॉम योर बॉडी सो आई एम श्योर दैट ही रियली वॉन्ट्स टू प्ले दैट गेम इज वेल सो एंड एवरीबडी लुकिंग फॉर फॉर हिम टू यू नो प्ले दैट गेम यू प्लेड विद कैंसर इज वेल सो दैट वॉज इवन हार्डर well i won't say it's harder or this is not hard because mm-hmm. this is also uh, it's draining mm-hmm. but the point is that when you playing for your country you have to put your body on line and if he, even if he's 50% fit mm-hmm. i would like to see him uh, playing that game